here we go today's adventure we are portaging to the sand river we're gonna go up river we're gonna go up a few portages and uh, find a place to make lunch and the fish a little bit So we're at the entrance from the access road and this is the uh, the waterfall that we walked around. You can see it from the highway which is a pretty cool trail and you can walk all the way up the falls which is really awesome. So we just walked around it and we're going to go up and around and up some more portages. Oh yeah, you can sit. Look at the bubbles all the way down. You'd be able to sit right in there, I bet. Oh yeah, right over there anyway, where it goes out. Yeah. Throw your lights to sit on. We did that up in uh, Agua. That one really cool campsite. Yeah. That was awesome. You can sit there and get a shoulder massage right under that little fall there. It was nice and sunny. Sit there and get a nice <laughs> back rub, man, right there. Just pummel you like that. Oh yeah. Just like that. Don't stop, man. Need a nice hot day for that. A hot day or a hot babe? Oh, <laughs> hey, careful. Sand River. We just portaged here off an access road. We're gonna go up river, portage through rapids, and find a spot to have lunch. Do some fishing, hopefully get into a couple trout, have a nice shore trout lunch. Uh, I haven't seen them before. I don't know what they are. I, don't, I haven't seen those before. I'm not familiar with those. I don't know what it is, but... What is it? Just taste this good. <laughs> don't eat lots. It's close, right there. Yeah? These things? Really cool. Yeah. What, it's like a, some type of... It's like a cucumber. So, it reminds me of cucumber. Tastes a little cucumber. Yeah, it does taste like cucumber, eh? You don't know what it is? I don't. Could be Indian pipe. Not sure though. We'll have to look that up. This plant is Indian pipe also known as ghost plant and corpse plant. It's used by native Indians. It has many benefits, including flu symptoms and colds. It also eases inflammation and much more. Good fires prevent bad ones. We got a few new good stickers. We got a Green Bay Packer sticker, a Warrior sticker. This was our lunch spot last year. Right here, right on the hill there. We were swimming in here, weren't we? Yeah, we were swimming in here. We went down the rapids on our backs. That was fun. Hold on, Mike. Mike, wait. Well, for that. Yeah, all right. We'll, we'll play bumper canoes. Push off the water. Then you're in Italy, sing a song and do it. This is when you want to pull through. Yeah.
That's great. Can't go any faster, Mike. Try some cops in here. I'll set up your line here. Yeah, we can pull over right in this uh right in this patch. In this part of the river, we're fishing for brook trout and rainbow trout. We fish with little flies, just a big enough hook just to fit inside their mouths. We don't need anything bigger than that. This is a great river to paddle. You can even hike up this river. Starting from the highway, you can hike all the way up to the first portage. The waterfalls are breathtaking. You can sit there and enjoy your whole day and forget about time. Bring yourself a nice picnic, maybe even a nice cold beverage. And who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and catch lunch. Come on, baby. Right here, this cast. This is it. I can feel it. That's what every fisherman says. Watch, watch. Come on, come on. Nothing. Fishing in this area is mesmerizing. Just listening to the water, the sounds of the birds, and nature all around you. Water is cold.
Nice little campsite here, right at the first portage of Sand River. Tried a few casts, now we're gonna head out to the second portage, or the end of the first portage to the second one. My little nephew Daniel, trying his luck at fishing, since I can't catch a thing. Made it to the other side of the portage. Big rock garden. Blue lead silly. silly. Yeah, that would make a good salad. And uh, vitamin C in it. Balsam fur. Yep. Simple. The outdoor of tea. Sunflower. Uh, that'd be yellow, yellow golden thread. That's what they call this. They call this golden thread. The Indians would use that. I think they would they would boil it and get like dye. It would make like a dye color. You could make dye out of it. Really? It's called uh, golden thread. That's what these look like. That's what these things are. Their yeah. roots are bright gold. That's what I call a golden thread. All kinds of stuff. Wow, man. that's pretty cool. I could bore you with useless Latin names and shit like that too. Huh. Interesting stuff, eh? So much to learn, man. So much to know. I don't know. I know a fraction of it. Cool. There's some people I'll go in the bush with, man, and they teach me a freaking million things. See some uh, carnivorous plants? Uh, How far is it now? Not very far. Battle. Probably about. I don't know. What do you want to do? Right here. It's pretty easy, you know? Okay. Well, I don't know. It is good, too. Yeah, that's good. So many as long as you can see. See where you're going? Yep. Perfect. It's a cool spot to just kind of, kind of search around. The fish, too, or fish deep or here. I think the fish is probably decent. It's as good as you're going to get, eh? This would be a good spot to uh, do some prospecting, too. Where's the trail at? The trail's still on the left. It's just the spots a guy can hike to around here. That trail ended at the last. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, it was a big sign. Oh, I didn't even go read back it. to the parking lot. Can you fill out where we just put in? Yeah, I see. I didn't read that. <laughs> you didn't register it. Uh, I walked right by it. I, kind of, I did see it, but I didn't read it. Talked about the old Indian, Indians with their. Uh, the Ojibwe. That was the last spot they had a sign about. I read that one. Yeah. With their birch canoes. Those guys are tough. Those guys are tough. They didn't live very long either, eh? No. Life at Chris didn't expect to see those guys like 45, 40, you know, I think 50 years old. It's so not even long. That's way long. I, I thought it was in their 30s. You were an elder if you were 40 now. You were a big guy. <laughs> you were old and wise at 40. Yeah. You've seen a lot of stuff at 40. Yeah. Think about it though, really though. I mean, you would have seen a lot of stuff at 40 years. Absolutely. Oh. kind of circumstance, that's a rough life. Certainly is, eh? Well, we're already at the portage. That wasn't long at all. Oh, shit. Ridiculous. Just going through the third portage with no canoes. I'm gonna check out the other side. Maybe a fishing hole and a place to make lunch. Yeah, totally. Or shelter underneath. Yeah. 
socks. Look at these socks. Those look like good socks, man. Yeah, yeah they, they do. Those are uh, those aren't cheap. Those are freaking six dollars socks. <laughs> Yeah, hey, there's my jacuzzi right there, man. Oh, yeah. Massage time. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Check out this campsite here. Echo! The fire maker. Those beans even freaking bark thing a little wet. Where's she going? Had a little one on there. We had big wet palm leaves. Yeah. You put like food in there and you just put it over and smoke and steam. It'd be perfect, eh? Perfect oven. Right here, the best corn fire ever. Corn on a cob, over a fire, over a waterfall. Beautiful. With some Sand River coffee. Kind of tastes like Sand River. <laughs> All good? And some Sand River chicken and rice. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it is getting darker, eh? These are dried, that was gonna go. So here's a new one for a lot of you folk. If you ever want something refreshing in your mouth after a rain, you can go in the woods. Either cedar or balsam fir. 
all these little raindrops. Just put it in your mouth. Mm, nice and refreshing. Mm. It's good. It tastes really good too. Just right after a rain. Yeah. Now you gotta remember, gold is 17 times heavier than every other mineral in this river. Yeah. So it's gonna settle out where the big stuff settles out. Yeah. Right here is your perfect gold trap. See where this heavy stuff's falling out? Yeah. That means when the river's coming, there's enough energy here that this heavy stuff's coming out. So I would move this top boulders and clean up all of this gravel out of here into a pail. Anything small, because if we're going to find it, this is the kind of ground, this is where you're going to find it. The river's going to wash it, funnel it, it gets trapped and falls into here, sinks. So my brother brought along his prospecting equipment. What a great pastime. It's unreal how much fun this was. It's good to think that we're back in the old days sometimes. If you'd like to watch more of this, watch my next video. Unfortunately, shortly after this it started raining, it was almost impossible to film anymore. So I decided to pack it in and enjoy the rest of the day. We put our rain jackets on and just went with the flow. So if you'd like to watch more in gold prospecting up north in Lake Superior, please click on the video. Thanks for watching. You sure it's not too fast?